Hey guys, Ralph here. True Power Trumpet Fitness. Another beautiful day in Connecticut. Knock on wood. <laughs> We've had a run of it and it looks like uh, spring slash summer is here and I couldn't be, I couldn't be happy. Anyway, um, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. Guys, it's got to be easy. It's got to be easy and we will talk about that. We'll talk about that in a minute. But, We'll talk about it. All right, let's go. Double C's in Urban. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, I'm going to tie in today a little bit about what I do with my athletes, as you well as you know. As you know, if you've been a, a follower of these vids, and if, if you're not, um, my doctoral work is basically was in athletics. My, my doctoral the uh, thesis was true power pitching. It's a foolproof way to uh, increase velocity as well as keep the arm free from injury. Foolproof works for any, just like this. The exact same concepts, concepts works for young kids as well as seasoned professionals and old fogies like myself. I get down and throw 100, 150, 300 balls a day with no topping out in the mid 80s, which for an old fogey like me, by the end of the summer I should be in the 90s. And uh, never, never hurt my arm. Guys, that is the whole point. That's the whole point. As you read the thumbnail, it's got to be easy. It's got to be easy. Guys, if you are overblowing, overpowering the horn, yes, to a certain degree, it does work. A certain degree, it does work. But guys, listen to me. You can't... You can't rely on feeling like Hercules every single night and busting a nut, for lack of a better term, um, to, get, to, get, to get the results you want. You can't. It's got to be easy. The same thing with pitchers. The same thing with athletes. Guys, it's got to be easy. It, you, you, you can't rely on just killing yourself for pitchers every fifth day. Something's going to snap. Something's going to give out. And is doing it at absolutely epidemic levels in uh, the baseball world. And that's what my whole focus was on. Now, you've got to get more on the lines of Bruce Lee. Was he in incredible shape? You bet. But he, he barely weighed 140 pounds, guys. And he could throw people twice his size across the room with so little effort. Guys, it has to be easy. It does you no good to play one double C and then have to sit out the next, the next piece. It does you no good to be able to throw one 100 mile per hour fastball and then you have a sore arm for the next two weeks. It, it has to be easy and it can be easy. There is no limits to this, guys. I stop at double C as you know that just because at this point in my life, I don't care. But to go any higher, I, I just really don't. Um, but I think you all hear it. If you've been with the videos from the beginning, it's getting easier and easier and easier every single time I come out, which allows you to go from the double C down to a lyrical Arban piece with a beautiful... Now listen, 
if you don't like my tone, if you don't like my phrasing, that, that's not the point. That's not the point at all. That's not the point of any of these videos. Guys, there is no way that if I was killing myself to play that double C, that I would be able to, without it barely even taking the mouthpiece off my lips, go down and play that lyrical piece. There's no way. And quite frankly, I'm not trying to beat my chest here, guys, but there are very, very few guys that can li literally do that. Now, that doesn't make me the greatest trumpet player in the world. That's not what I'm saying. Relax, all of you. Okay? But if you take this technique, if you take this body of work and put it to your needs, apply it to what you, what you want ultimately, then you'll have the tone you want and not necessarily mine and whatnot. But guys, it has to be done here. Now, to make it easy, you have to. You have to start with relaxed corners. You have to. Okay? Now, I've said this before, and you're going to roll your eyes. It's okay. I repeat. I'm going to beat you over the head with this until it comes in. You relax the corners. And guys, the more you relax the corners, the, more, the easier it's going to be. That is it in a nutshell. Now, something has to work. I've said this a zillion times. You can't just, you can't just magically meditate and hope that double C's come out. You put the stress on the strongest muscle in the body. Let the tongue do the work. Take all the stress out of these very, very fragile muscles and tissues. Take the stress off it by using the tongue correctly. And you got it. You stop overblowing. Okay. Even the true power position with a strong tongue and everything, if you're overblowing, you can't hold back that amount of air. Okay. Now, I don't know if what you hear actually comes through on the, uh, on the videos, but those double C's are wide open guys and loud as can be. And the lower register, I wouldn't be able to do that if I was crushing my lips. I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. I wouldn't be able to play double C's with no warm up. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to play, you know, jump from one instrument, a piccolo trumpet to a euphonium and back to a C trumpet and then an E flat trumpet without even warming with one mouthpiece, except for the euphonium, of course. Wouldn't be able to do it unless it was relaxed. Now, all your orchestral players, and I'm not knocking them. But if they go from a C trumpet to an E flat trumpet, they can't, they don't do it like that. They need they need a 15, 20 minute warm up to get it's not because the chops aren't completely relaxed. Okay. That's it. Harry James. Harry James. Horace Fisher. I mean, they're, they're more relaxed than I am. There, there is nothing, there was nothing on the trumpet that those two guys couldn't do. Nothing. All on a B-flat trumpet. They didn't need a piccolo trumpet. They didn't need a C trumpet to play with a gorgeous, warm, lyrical tone and then play double Cs because it was easy. Guys, it has to be easy. The old, the old saying, the great ones make it look easy. The great dancers. I used to work for... Um, Maurice and Gregory Hines, tap dancers. I don't know if you're familiar with their work. Just genius. Genius. I mean, there was some cardio involved, and they were in shape, but they, they weren't torturing themselves every night. It was easy. It was absolutely easy. Pavarotti. Do you think he's killed himself to sing Nessa Norma? No. He's got it nailed. He's got it nailed. Now, he was in pitiful shape and towards the end of the career yes he scuffled a little bit but guys it has to be easy it has to be or it's not going to work yo yo ma you think he's torturing his fingers oh, come on it's like he's literally in another world he's out in the ether somewhere it's so easy to him oh he's he's the ultimate of ease now needless to say the nature of the instrument cello doesn't require the output of energy that, of course, a trumpet does. But 
guys. That's it. It has to be easy. Relax the corners more than you, th you think. If you think you're relaxing them now and you don't have a double C, relax them more. Replace it. The more you relax, the more the tongue is going to be able to get into the top spot. Okay? The right spot. Replace it with more tongue. And once you do that, just cut back on the air. And the trumpet, I'm not even going to say the trumpet world. The brass world is yours. The brass world is yours. And you band directors, you should get in touch with me immediately. I talked to a band director last night. Same thing. It's the same thing. Flute. They're not spit buzzing. Clarinet. You want elementary school band director? Get in touch with me now. You want your kids, your clarinet players over the break like that, like, like there's no problem? Get the tongue up against the, the reed. It feels like you're popping. That's it. Guys, we'll talk again tomorrow. I got to get out in this beautiful day, sun and get some vitamin D. <laughs> Love you all. Have a great day. Eat your fruits and vegetables, and I'll talk again tomorrow. Live your life with true power.